Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, we have started our journey in 2017 and since then we are promoting electric vehicles every day without any rest. And we will be doing that until the EV revolution in India fully happened. So as the 2022 is coming to an end and it's a good time to catch up with an EV insider to know the good and bad things in the EV industry in especially 2022. So we love to promote every electric vehicle but make in India or made in India electric vehicles makes us much more excited. So today we have Mr. Mohiji in our studio who is the CEO and founder of Aslo EV. Aslo EV is a small startup company based in Bhopal and they are continuously working on their first electric scooter Haina M1 to make it appear everywhere in India. So hello Moiji, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. How yeah, first of all, welcome to Electric Vehicles India. Thank like, you. I am fine. Moiji, it would be awesome if you can summarize the EV experience in 2022. As you said, I mean, it was awesome. I what is it awesome? Yeah, jokes apart. I mean, of course, I mean, this EV revolution, the EV trend started with a great optimism, hmm. with a great enthusiasm. Yeah. But I mean, as we, we all know, like uh, from the, uh, like what you call blast from the past. <laughs> I mean, some some batteries got exploded of some uh, reputed brand. So after this incident, uh, people uh, had that uh, low confidence on EVs. Yeah. But uh, after, I mean, uh, our government and uh, the companies that uh, they, they just learned a lesson from it. Mm -hmm. So what the, the government also uh, laid down the strict parameters to ensure the safety. You know, of uh, electric vehicles when they're in customers' hands. Yeah. So I think uh, there was a brief pause for that moment of time, mm -hmm. but from thereafter, I mean, again, I mean, the sales are picking up, yeah. and uh, we are seeing more and more EVs. I mean, they are increasing uh, monthly. So of course, I mean, it is uh, going a good way, and I'm sure in future it will go a long run. Like. Okay. So do you think that uh, all companies are ensuring the enough safety precautions for the like uh, how the electric vehicle should be? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, that uh, government has uh, laid now strong guidelines. Yeah. They have laid some strong parameters. Mm. And if a company is strictly uh, within the those parameters, now these co these companies only can uh, roll out the EVs or the battery packs, you know, for available to the open market. Yeah. So I mean, of course, I mean each and every company is more alert now. Mm. They're on their toes, in fact. Okay. They're on their feet now, like you know, because. Okay. Uh, I mean, even if one life is lost, it's a huge loss. I mean, there is a uh, human life is precious. Yeah. And and this is no denying on that. I mean, mm. so I mean, of course, I mean, it has to be get more and more strict, yeah. more and more stringent. Like yeah. if you want to get out the best product in the Indian market. So, of course, yes. Moiji, how is your journey till now in this EV industry? I mean, my journey was just like a roller coaster ride. So, I mean, I too have seen loss of as an entrepreneur, not as an EV ex uh, industry. Uh, insider, but as an entrepreneur, also the journey has been full of uh, challenges, full of uh, ups and downs. So I'm not new to this industry. Already, I mean, my career started with EV only. Okay. So later on, when I started, that I mean, uh, two wheelers are, uh, I mean, uh, are coming to, I mean, into the mainstream transportation. Mm -hmm. Like it started with a yo bike first. Yeah. So we thought of key, and of course, I mean, in the starting brands, now there were a lot of loopholes and a lot of things were missing, and people were. I mean, some people out of their uh, uh, civic sense, out of their uh, uh, cause uh, living uh, uh, this thing and uh, lifestyle, nah, they yeah. were buying it. Yeah. But they were not satisfied with the power, mm. the build quality of that. So observing all these things, nah, we did some basic market research. Okay. Okay, what these things are, what are things that are missing you know, from the uh, contemporary brands. Mm. So we tried to fix those things. Okay. And so we launched our own uh, two-wheeler and we did... Uh, research for like one and a half year in making a, a, a product that will be according to the Indian conditions, okay. Indian road conditions, Indian demography, yeah. and that will be according to the Indian consumer psychology. Mm. Yeah, so that in terms of uh, service also, they should not have any problem. Yeah. So basing on that line, we thought of making out something and it just uh, like and whatever the, when we launched it, the response was good. Okay. And so we have been sustaining till like I mean, we were the first one to roll out quickly after the launch. Okay. Like, uh, what's your suggestion to the people on uh, like how to choose a electric vehicle? Uh, the first thing I mean about the EV is like uh, first uh, whether the EV is strongly built. Okay. It should have a, a, a good build quality yeah. because in India we have the psychology that a thing should be at least. 
lasted for 7 to 10 years or more than that. I mean, yeah. there is always uh, that father is using, then his son is using, then his grandson is using. So that's the trend usually follows. But okay, of course, not up to that level. Yeah. But of course, the like the, the petrol scooters has set that benchmark for. Yeah, so India. we have that predefined mm. you know, that image ki yeah. how a uh, product should be, mm. not just EV, any product like. Mm. And uh, secondly, I mean, it should have. Uh, in terms of safety, mm. there should be no compromise. The battery pack should be the safer. If yeah. possible, you uh, customers should like uh, do some basic research from their own end. Uh, okay. The battery packs, what kind of battery technology they are using. Just mm. like we go with LFP batteries. Okay. Right from the beginning, we are using LFP, as I said earlier. Okay. So, I mean, uh, so, so safety is the second parameter. That should not be compromised. Mm. And thirdly, like when you uh, uh, purchase something, so what are the after-sales service and available on that product. Okay. That's mandatory. Mm. If you if you buy if you if you bought something that is hard to maintain, so again your whatever your purchase uh, you have you have spent the money. I mean that, that will go. I mean that will not giving you back the full value for money. Yeah. So I mean uh, so of course I mean so these three are the param parameters okay. like you know, so. The customer should take into consideration. Okay. So for before buying an EV. Kamalji, what's your stand on the fire hazards happened in past, and uh, will that affect the use of electric vehicles in our India? Because some brands now, I mean, their their bikes, they got some fire mishaps, and some people really have to lose their life now. I mean, yeah. It's really very unfaithful. It's very depressing, very unfortunate. And I think a little knowledge could have, uh, I mean, saved that one, the yeah. major loss. I mean. Just, I mean, customers should be having the awareness like about the battery packs or the, about the technology that are being used. Mm -hmm. So the, what defines a good battery pack, first of all? Like basically, I mean, good battery pack is nothing but uh, it is a BMS and the constituents are lithium ion cells, yeah. the unit cells. Mm -hmm. So both are should be of good quality. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, uh, even the manufacturers have to strictly follow the government guidelines what they have laid. Yeah. Yeah, so, and. Uh, and of course, the companies are taking adequate measures to ensure mm. proper safety. And then the BMS is a device, I mean, just uh, this key that monitors each and every unit cell. Yeah. And it regulates the functioning of, it regulates the temperature. Suppose it is a critical temperature of the battery pack is set up to X degrees. Mm. So it should not go X beyond X degrees. Yeah. Because if it goes so, then it definitely, uh, uh, any uh, fire hazard can happen, any yeah. mishap can happen. Mm. So the BMS should be of, a very good quality. Yeah. There should not be any compromise on the quality. Mm. And secondly, the battery packs uh, that unit cells are uh, that are being used now, they should be. I mean, uh, they should be having very good quality inside. You know? mm. What are the kind of constituents being used inside the unit cell? Now? They yeah. should be of very refined quality. Yeah. Okay, Mohit Now let's talk about your product, Hina M1. So, how your Hina M1 is different from other electric scooter which are currently available in the market? I mean, uh, before. Uh, Starting this project, no, our team did some market research. Okay. And uh, so, what are the things that were missing in the contemporary brands, or whatever the complaints were there already uh, in the existing or the running brands, no, that we try to fix in. And uh, so, I mean, after going deeper and deeper into research, now I find, I mean, I was not satisfied with. I mean, I should not mention the names, but I mean. Because everything is, uh, more or less, every brand is having the same quality because they are coming from, they are imported brands. And outside India they are coming, I will yeah. not uh, mention like yeah, from they where they are coming. They are all coming from the same pool. Same pool only. So, so I mean, they all are like uh, imported uh, OEMs, uh, CKDs. So, I mean, what we thought of is, ki, uh, why not with, uh, make a scooter with Indian OEM parts. Okay. And already Bajaj is doing, I mean, it's already the uh, petrol companies and they are doing it. So we thought of uh, making a scooter that is specially designed for Indian road conditions. Okay. And where the components are easily available within the India only. Okay. And there is less dependency for semiconductors that is coming from outside. Yeah. And uh, like battery pack is of course we can't we are not manufacturing batteries. So battery uh, battery pack has to be from the uh, pool. Uh, yeah. And uh, so we try to do maximum localization. Okay. Uh, so so that at least. 85% of the scooter is made in India. Yeah. So, I mean, we are using metal body. I mean, so that is of course a differentiation from other uh, brands who are using fiber. Okay. And also we have used chain drive technology. Yeah. So chain drive technology is, uh, in my opinion, is much safer than hub motor. Okay. 
you know, and because uh, that hub motor have is having uh, a good ground clearance. Mm. The source of power is a motor that is mounted you know, above the ground level. Mm. So of course it gives a lot of advantage and you know, a lot of benefit over when you are using it in your monsoon season yeah. or you are passing through the water logging areas. Okay. And secondly, the spare parts are easily available. You no need to wait for a longer time. And sometimes, I mean, I have seen people who are waiting, waiting up to eight months yeah. to get the particular component of EV. Mm. So they simply have to teach the scooter. Their sentiments also get, uh, uh, what do you call, upset. Yeah. Because they have bought a thing for, with such a great uh, optimism. Mm. And, and after three, four months, suppose some damage happens, something happens, they want a replacement, it is not available, then it is really a, a very depressing situation for a yeah. customer. Yeah. So, in our case, man, I mean, definitely, I mean, within a short span of time, man, we can resolve the spare part replacement and yeah. the service are available. Yeah. So for, regarding mechanical servicing, I think uh, Haina M1 can be serviced easily anywhere. I okay. Mean. okay. So, that's the thing. Okay. So I just want to ask this like uh, like one important questions uh, like which is in the minds of the most of the people mm -hmm. like most of the EV manufacturers nowadays are attracting with some fancy features. Yeah. So do you think are they really important in our daily life situations like uh, like uh, as a as an EV insider like what is your like thought uh, like what is your comment on those fancy features? I mean, uh, I mean it depends up to the person's. Uh, personal preferences but in my op opinion okay i mean if you get more soft features sophisticated features now it will later on it will increase the maintenance cost only yeah i mean as long as i mean you get service suppose there are a lot of gadget features now mm. like the touch screens are some company giving touch screen yeah. and a lot of uh, lot of soft features are there yeah. uh, same like it is it has become like a more of a gadget yeah. not like a automobile <laughs> uh. so of course i mean more the sophistication more the cost of maintenance yeah if happens there if you so, I mean, in my opinion, I mean, as simple as, I mean, this, if the technology is as simple as possible, now, it is very easy to maintain. Mm. Also, it brings down the cost, cost significantly. Yeah. So, I mean, with this, uh, with this ideology only, we have kept our EV very simple. Yeah. So, our uh, motto was not just to promote EV, but to make EV... Uh, as simple as the IC. Yeah, I, 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 as simple as IC only. Yeah. So, I mean, of course, I mean, uh, keeping the technology to the basic or to the core level. Okay. I mean, that is the best, uh, I mean, case scenario for the customers. Okay. And suppose, I mean, suppose you have Audi. Hmm. I mean, it has a top speed up to 200 kilos, it can easily pass. Yeah. And you are paying a huge price for that. No? Yeah. But do you ever drive beyond 150, 140 or 150? Okay. No. So, why are you paying for the extra feature? I mean. Okay. And bikes are not a going to be a status symbol. I mean, mm. Audi's, of course, it has a mark, you know. So, so I mean, I mean, just it, it's up to the personal choice of a customer. Right? If he okay. he likes more fancy features, I mean, he, he should he can of course. I mean, okay. But I think an EV should be as simple as possible. Okay. So that it's easy to maintain, you know, easy to get serviced okay. later on. Yeah. So that's the my take on that. Okay. So Mahirji, my final question is like it's getting longer video. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like the my final question is like so what's your expectation on how EV industry is going to be in 2023? Yeah, I mean like as I said, I mean the, from blast from the past, no? it dipped down for a small time, yeah, like, for a small period of time, mm. but suddenly it has started rising again. Yeah, I mean uh, for this financial year, uh, 2023. Mm. I mean till now it has almost the sales of EV has reached almost like. Uh, uh, for like uh, 25,000 yeah and I'm sure by the end of this financial year okay. 23 now mm. it will pass easily pass 7 lakhs okay and that is the case of two-wheelers okay and uh, like uh, Tata's I mean they are the kings now in four-wheeler four segment yeah with uh, Tigo EV and Nexon no? yeah so I mean till now for this financial year they have sold almost like 18,000 units mm. of their uh, EV car yeah. electric car yeah and they're also, I mean, their sales numbers are increasing month by month. Yeah. Because people are not realizing that yeah, EVs are safer now. Yeah. So, of course, I mean, there is a golden ray of hope for EV industry. Mm. And I'm sure that okay, by 2025, two-wheelers in petrol will be a vintage. Okay. Almost 70% or 60% of the market cap will be acquired by electric vehicles only. Okay. Regarding two-wheelers. Okay. And for, I think, and of course, I mean, it will be followed by electric four-wheelers too. So, I mean, petrol or ICE engines vehicles 
will be a vintage okay. i mean the coming time okay thank you mohit ji thank you for your valuable time yes. hope your haina m1 reaches the it reaches all the expectations you, you have put on it so that's it for today's video guys so i hope you got a good idea on how ev industry is going to be in 2023 and what are the challenges manufacturers has faced in this 2022 and if you found the video helpful please like the video and don't forget to subscribe electric vehicles india so see you in an other interesting video until then go green go, go electric, electric.